Final race of the morning and early afternoon session then. It is the third and final heat for X30 Juniors. Charlie Field starts on pole position alongside Antonis Sofronio. Louis Johnston Cool starts on row two alongside Jensen Buckingham. Sean Hogan and Ben Folland are on row three. Olivier Algieri and Jack Plant on row number four. Uh, Alex Moody and Christian Brooks go from row five. Jack Davies and Alfie Baxter Davies on row number six. Douglas Bolger and Cody Keogh on row seven. Josh Agamar and Samuel Shaw on row number eight. Luke Weston and Joshua Valance are on row nine. Daniel Amazigo and Kanato Lee, who's impressive in heat number two, start from row ten. Lucas Ellingham, heat two winner, alongside Harry Jr. but going row 11. Samuel Hawthorne and Ben Jenkins on row number 12. Alexander Johnston and Mackenzie Stevens, row 13. Apologies, we didn't quite get to the last row there because we are good for a race. 10 minutes plus one lap. Last heat for X30 Juniors. Uh, I'd be surprised if anyone is still on wet tyres. But here we go, up to the uh, first braking zone at Christmas Corner. A couple of drivers tripping over one another as they go through Christmas Corner. But apart from that, it's a pretty clean start from the juniors in the X30s. Down into Ashby Corner, nobody's fallen off the back yet. Uh, so I think the front row have retained the lead. It's whether it's Field or Johnston Cool who have actually taken the lead. Everybody else squabbling towards the back end of the field, trying to find their way through. There comes the number 52, Jack Plant. So Jack Plant has had a good start here. Uh, from eighth on the grid. I think he's already got himself up to third. This race, of course, along with the other two heats in X30 Junior that we've seen so far today, each driver racing in two of them will set the grid for the final. And here comes Plant being very aggressive, trying to get past Louis Johnston Cool for second place and does so. And Johnston Cool now gets absolutely mugged by the likes of Olivier Algieri and I think Sean Hogan as well. Uh, contacts warning for Douglas Bolger, you had a good race in uh, heat number one. But uh, has almost had a bit of a yellow card there before he gets a penalty. Won't want to make any kind of uh, error. Eight and a half minutes of this one to go. Charlie Field is your leader. With a 49-0-0. So tyres still a little bit cold at this stage of the race. We saw uh, the seniors getting into the 46s and the 47s, of course. Move down the inside, going in there. Number 66, Samuel Shaw. And a nice textbook move there on, turn, on Antonio Sofronio. Um, just a little bit further that back, we saw Lucas Ellingham. Winner from heat number two trying to make up some positions into Ashby Corner. We'll check next time around whether he did or not. Seven minutes 40 to go. A good pace at the moment from Jack Plant. He's just gone purple, purple, sector one, sector two. Side by side for third place, Algieri and Hogan. And Hogan's got it. So Hogan through and into third place now. Samuel Shaw continuing his charge through the field. He's up to eighth. He's being followed by Douglas Bolger and Lucas Ellingham. And now Jack Plant has got to the back of Charlie Field. Another purple sector from Plant in sector number one. You've got to think that Jack Plant with this form is going to go for a move to take the lead in the next couple of corners. Or so just got a side there of Christian Brooks. He's had a quiet day racing wise, but was very quick in practice earlier on this morning. Uh, he's up to sixth place now there in the white, blue and yellow cart. It's down the inside. Louis Johnston Cool trying to get past uh, Algieri and does so. So uh, the 38 drops a position down to fifth place. Christian Brooks, as I say, just behind there in sixth. Approaching halfway through this race then. Charlie Field has responded. I've got us now. That is impressive. That is impressive. Charlie Field has pulled out a lead here of a second over Jack Plant. So digging deep, Jack Plant now responding to that new pace from Charlie Field. Samuel Shaw, by the way, is the fastest driver out on circuit. Change for position there. Brooks passed Algieri. Algieri trying to fight back, try to retake that fifth place. They come through the double left-handers, but uh, no way through, and Christian Brooks moves on. Next driver up the road, Louis Johnston Cool. Keep an eye on that number 66 cart. Samuel Shaw is 
Going very quickly indeed. And the number 49, Daniel Amazigo, in 13th, make that 12th. Uh, some good sector times going in from Daniel. Contact warning for the number 221, which is Ben Folland. Jack Plant responding again, starting to pull the gap down. It's hovering around 0.9 seconds, uh, 0.9 of a second after the last lap as Samuel Shaw makes another move, this time on, on uh, Olivier Algieri. So that's sixth place now for Shaw. But Jack Plant is quicker in sector one and sector two, so the lead is going to come down, I think, on this uh, lap. As look at that, Lucas Ellingham diving in there. Number 99, clearly with a lot of confidence after that win in heat number two, makes the move on Alex Moody for eighth place. Five minutes to go. The lead gap is down to 0.56 of a second. Uh, what is the sector time looking like through the first uh, sector? It's Douglas Bolger going past Moody now. Another tenth out of Fields lead then as Samuel Shaw, I think, just made a move there on Johnston Cool. So that if, was that fourth place now for Samuel Shaw? Yes, it was. Algieri still there in sixth. Has got back ahead of Christian Brooks. And Lucas Ellingham starting to close in now as well. As there again, same points as the lap before. And Alex Moody, Lucas Ellingham this time, dispatches of Christian Brooks. So Ellingham now up to seventh place. Lap times down into the 46s now. Douglas Bolger now the fastest driver out on circuit. There he is in the 277 up the inside of Brooks. So Bolger now up to 8th place. Lead battle, here it is. 0.33 of a second over start-finish last time around. Charlie Field trying to dig deep again. Another personal best sector number one, but ever so slightly quicker is Jack Plant now. Will Jack Plant just hold position here? Because there's still a good amount of this race to go. Uh, Sean Hogan is about three seconds further behind this pair. Of course, we've seen Samuel Shaw coming through. We've seen Lucas Ellingham come through. Samuel Shaw has just set the fastest up at a 46.04. That is quick. And here goes Plant. Up the inside of Field has decided this is the time to make the move and try and take his assertive nature on this race. But Field is going to try and fight back here. Back down the inside. Really good stuff there from Charlie Field. Retakes the lead a couple of corners after losing it. Now, do these drivers want to be doing this at this stage of the race? There's still three minutes plus one lap to go. You just caught a sight there of Samuel Shaw right on the rear bumper of Sean Hogan for third place. Charlie Field, helmet colours, almost a little bit like Lewis Hamilton's when he was racing in karting. With the blue, red and green with the uh, yellow base colour. Now it looks like Plant is just willing to work with Field now. Have they identified the risk behind, which is Samuel Shaw? There he is. 2-2-1 is out of the race. It's Ben Folland. So Ben Folland in trouble there. He's not having the best of seasons so far in X30 Junior, unfortunately. But the gap between second and third coming down. And here goes Plant again. Oh, big move there. And Field left just about enough room. Side by side again. Plant and Field at this time. Plant gets ahead of Field. But Field will have the toe as they head up the hill now to Christmas Corner. Power down from Jack Plant. Can Jack Plant hold on to the lead? He's going to stay there. Field back on the inside. There's pot to pot contact. And still Plant holds on to the lead. But this is all playing into the hands of Samuel Shaw just behind. There is Samuel Shaw. Plant down the uh, field down the inside again. Retakes the lead. This is brilliant stuff here in X30 Junior. Now Plant wants another go. Oh, there's contact between the two of them. And Shaw's on the scene. Down the inside goes Samuel Shaw. Brilliant. Takes second place. And is now surely going to go for the lead into the boot now. Still... 90 seconds and more of this to go. Lucas Ellingham again. He does the same move again. And Shaw takes the lead. Overtakes all over the place here in X30 Junior. At the end of lap 11, Samuel Shaw leads. Charlie Field is now second. Lucas Ellingham up to third. Hogan fourth. Jack Plant falls all the way to fifth. And I did question whether it was the right tactics to be making those moves at this time of the race. Douglas Bolger now down the inside. He takes fifth place away from Jack Plant.
They had to work together. They didn't work together. They've been caught by the rest of the field. And Samuel Shaw, uh, who was about to say was the fastest driver out on circuit. No, Lucas Ellingham has set a 59.898. So Lucas Ellingham now has the fastest lap of the race. Shaw checks over his left-hand shoulder. Sees that there's a bit of a gap there to Charlie Field. Ellingham looks for that same move into the toe of the boot, but not doing this time. He'll try it again, surely, as there's still two laps to go. Still a bit of time on the clock. Sure, trying to hold on here uh, to this win from a charging Lucas Ellingham. But Ellingham has got to get past Charlie Field. Down the inside, into the hairpin. Takes second place, Lucas Ellingham. What did the sectors look like? He's lost a little bit of time to Shaw through that first sector. Let's see what sector two is like now that Ellingham is in clean air. You can see him tucking in there, trying to shrimp a little bit, trying to get as much of an aerodynamic advantage as possible here in the final race before the lunch break. And as they come onto the back straight, and, uh, and Elling Ellingham's quicker. Ellingham is quicker than Shaw through sector number two. What will the gap be? over start finish as they see the final lap ball it's seven tenths of a second it's a it's a decent gap for samuel shaw but is it enough to hold from lucas ellingham lucas ellingham there in second place now trying to close in surely he will try and set this up for a move into the boot but he's got to dig really deep through the rest of this lap they're pretty even through the first sector douglas bolger trying to challenge third place by the way Will Bolger go for the move on Charlie Field, not into uh, the left-handers? I think Samuel Shaw has got this run. He's got a good gap to Lucas Ellingham, and surely Ellingham can't do anything now. Samuel Shaw is going to take the win here. He had to fight through. He timed it perfectly and wins the third and final heat in X30 Junior. Lucas Ellingham looks very, very strong for the final there in second place. Douglas Bolger, third. Charlie Field led for a while, fought there with Jack Planton in the end. It's fourth for him. Uh, Olivier Algieri, good strong result there in fifth. Canato Lee comes through again, is in sixth. Sean Hogan, seventh. Jack Plant finishes eighth. Finishes eighth. Might be a little bit disappointed with that, considering he led at certain points. Alex Moody, ninth. Daniel Amazigo, strong again in P10. Uh, Louis Johnston, cool in 11th. 12th, Harry Jr. Burgoyne. Uh, 13th for Christian Brooks, didn't seem uh, in that second phase of the race to have the pace that, uh, that I would have expected, but uh, we'll see him in the final. 14th for Samuel Hawthorne, 19th Antonis Sofronio, uh, 16th for... <laughs>